All right, this one is called, I Thought I Was a Man. I thought I was a man who sang and ran and saw the fi faintest glistening from the grains of sand in the middle of an opal sky. I thought I was the one, the force that others would accept as most do the sun. I'd shine my fearless wings and give light and hearth to all and be the world's desperately sought sun and I'd have no need for puns. I thought I'd be with her and live a vision more ecstatic than any fanatic's dreams. And in her annihilating grace so serene, I'd know the truth which whispers inside the scenes. But the only heart I now embrace is one I hold within my space and which now I waste. Yet still she is attached to me, yet still she forms my fiercest dreams. Like a survivor from a wreckage of a fallen love, still I cling to my drifting dreams. Alone, unwanted, unpersoned clay, hope for a truly different day when I will fly away. I got one more. Oh, that was good. Kill it, man. Got so excited with my other poem there. <laughs> By the way, these are these are newbies in terms of uh, this is the first time they've been new performed. shit. New yeah, shit. always. Well, they're not new. They're new. To, they're new to you guys, not new to me. But they're new to the world. Okay. This one is called uh, Seven. Let me see what it's titled. This one it's called uh, Seven Steps. Seven Steps from Heaven. I think it was a jazz classic called Seven Steps to Heaven, or something like that. Anyway. Skyward and upward, far above away, from the low, deep movement of my soul. I soar at sharp, surviving angles, slicing through pain with a sacred blade, through the exquisite artfulness I hold, my tenuous, bat balletic sweep, aware the worst oblivion is just one crash away. Gliding down, buoyant on the surly waves, suspended on a truce beneath the sun, I float aside a vacant strand, that shouldn't mean a home for me, but rather is the last place I'd like to land. Like old Odysseus, I must cast off and search for other lands. Though is it the voyage that is the bliss and not the destination? I've been thinking a lot of, about hegiras lately. Hegiras of the feet, hegiras of the mind, hegiras of the soul. Something in mankind must move. Something in us must wander, seek and sacrifice in order to find new realities that fit us better than these outworn, threadbare yesterdays. Surely I'm not alone in thinking like this. Did not the people who made America come from elsewheres of everywhere, except from where they started from? Should we not seek what is to be beyond the existing external extremity? And will not our children roam spaces both greater and smaller than we dare envision? For if there really is evolution, it must certainly be of the imagination. Somewhere beyond, a part away, there is a kind of peace for me. No concrete streets or miasmas of vanities will sway my staggered soulful heart. No corporate suspenders, dreams of world subjugation, nor even streaming, steaming, processed pussy from a gleaming cup will slake my final determination to find the meaning buried within. It is not a wounded or lost child I seek, but a joyous, spirited boy who feared nothing, loved everyone, and only sought to help others without regard for anything but the need to do the right thing. This is a cliche for many, but a guiding compass for him, for me and for those who care. Peace and love and truth I seek, for life is everywhere. More life here there cannot be, so much so that nihilism is merely a natural reaction instead of a helpful alternative. There is a beauty in destruction, but there's a special pain in its aftermath, and hell is only a footfall away. Is that the conclusive answer? Is hell the way to heaven, the way to solid eternal bliss? That is not a Buddhist answer, but respectful though I am, I believe in facing the shadows. Rather than escape the suffering, let the suffering purify, and we will be changed for higher good. Thank you, thank you for coming. Peace, peace to you all who seek the truth, and nothing less should you accept than heaven. Thank you all. Ooh.